Hi everyone, my name is Andrew, and my story is not at all a happy one, but I hope that my experience can help someone as useless and lonely as me to believe in themselves. My childhood was my own little hell in a rented one-room apartment in the city outskirts. As far as I can remember, my mom didn't work, preferring to drink and drown in leisures. I never saw my real father. When I was three and became somewhat aware, mom understood that I was in the way of her work and started kicking me out of the house, regardless of the weather. Men visited mom, alone or in groups they always left behind empty bottles and things better left unremembered around children. I was only allowed to come back home when they left the apartment, and that was usually late at night. So that's how I grew up, like a weed in the garden, spending most of my time outside of the house rather than in it. I was made fun of at school, and my teacher told me I was untalented and slow. Of course, we didn't have enough money, even for food, so I wore hand-me-downs from the kinder neighbors. I didn't even have a place to study. I got by by studying in the windowsills and reading textbooks. For some reason, despite it all, I liked studying. There was a science professor of some sort in our house, and I aspired to be like him. Somehow I survived until I was 12 years old. I even started earning money on building sites, skipping the least important lessons, and in the evening I helped local shops unloading the deliveries. Things were slowly looking up. And suddenly, my mom got married. At first I thought he was a decent man. He didn't drink and taught mom to stop as well, worked at a factory somewhere, and hung out at the garage with friends in the evenings. All in all, a normal guy. I wanted to believe in this miracle. But it didn't work out. The first time he raised his hand against my mom, I was even on his side. Then it turned out that he did it systematically, and even took to me. Sometimes he just got in a mood, asked for my grade book, listed through grades, and the rest was up to impulse, though I still got hit regularly. For an F, for skipping, or vice versa, for a perfect grade on the test, there was no reason. He did it purely out of hate. When I turned 15, I understood that everything that happened before was ridiculous. Finding myself in the hospital with a broken arm, three stitches in my head, and a concussion, I realized that was my first time being truly beaten. And it was only because I voiced my opinion. In the end, I decided to run away at the first opportunity and never look back. At the start, I even felt relieved, but the events afterwards made me understand that it was a mistake. Initially, I slept on the streets, ran from cops, ate out of trash cans. I understood I couldn't live like this. I was not okay with being homeless. So I came into the police department and poured my soul out. In the end, they relieved my mother of her parental duties, sent me to a foster home, and my life finally turned to the better. In the home, I found good friends, started learning, graduated to a construction college, and went to work. I'm now 20, and I live in my wife's apartment. My wife is a real beauty, and I even have a daughter. I am happy and try not to remember my difficult past. Those who are listening know this. Never give up. Today might be hard, but tomorrow will be better.